Hey everyone, it's Medford Collectibles back here with a large box PSA return. This is all um, authenticated autos I sent in with the last quarterly special. So I sent in, I think, 24 autos to be uh, authenticated. These were all in-person autos that were on cards and different things, photos uh, that were small enough to fit in a slab for their standard. So I sent them in just to uh, make sure they were all authentic. I, I purchased a lot of these in a, in a couple big auction lots. So just wanted to be sure. And with the, the quarterly special I had going, it was 15 bucks per card or per photo if it was in, in the... Uh, within the size limits. So I figured it was worth it to get some of these done. So I'm gonna go through, open these up, see how we did. Hopefully what we see is a bunch of uh, authenticated pictures and cards um, <laughs> and not ones that aren't authenticated. Um, I think I'm pretty common these were. The body's all from the same lot. They all look legitimate. Uh, look like it was the same collector. So let's get into this and see it. I have not opened them up yet, obviously. Let's see how we did here. These are all going to be, well, I think most of these are going to be in these, the larger PSA holders. They were, some of these were like index card size and, and above. So, see how these, these are. This is my first return back from PSA. I've got a bunch of this stuff with them, but since I started setting some out to be graded myself earlier this year, I've not received any of those cards back there. They won't be back until, you know, we're not going to see those back till end of the year, probably. And bear with me here. I got a lot of stuff in here. It's like they don't want you to get to the box. Well, well packed. Got some paperwork. That's all the cards. Okay, I got I got a letter here from PSA on one of the uh, one of the cards. So there was an index card I sent to uh, Tony Cloninger. And they're saying that one was not authentic. So that's pretty cool. They do give you a reason if they don't authenticate one. That um, the reason why. So it looks like one of these saying it's questionable authenticity. Well, hopefully it's only one and it's an index card. So, okay. Well, let's see what we got in the rest of them. That's why I send them in. Wouldn't want to resell something that I'm not sure is authentic. So that, that uh, index card probably just get thrown in the trash. <laughs> not really worth keeping. Or, or sold with the, uh, the question of authenticity <laughs> note from PSA. If somebody wants to get a second opinion somewhere. Try to get these open here. So they don't make it easy to get into these things. There we go. A lot of packaging. All right. All right, we're into, into some here. The first batch. See, I knocked down all my stands trying to get this stuff out. Box is way too big for my, my area I have set up to do this. Okay. Let's get this up in here. Packed full. I can't even get these out. There we go. Oh, these, these are the big ones I was talking about. So those are all big ones. All right. Well, 
Let's see what we got here. I'll turn these over. So this must be the questionable one here. We can uh, pull this one out first. So this is yeah, questionable authenticity. You can see it's uh, just says best wishes, Tony Cloninger. So that's the way it goes. Could authenticate that one for some reason. Put that one aside. And let's look at the others here. So we'll start with this stack over here. So first we got a, this is Chuck Bednarik index card. It's got a little personalized thing on it. Hall of Famer for the Eagles. Ducked in 67. So that's pretty cool. Put these over here. Next, we got uh, Robin Roberts' is Hall of Fame inductee auto. Actually, I think I have two of these. Yep, we got two of these. So when he was inducted, he signed a bunch of these on the, the day he was inducted. Those are both certified. I wish they were a little more centered in the in the case, but a little, I'd probably, probably adjust this around. So that's cool. Got a Phil Rizzuto picture. So you got a photo of Phil Rizzuto. Authenticado. That's pretty cool. Next here, we've got another Phil Rizzuto. Another photo, Phil, from his playing days. The first one's when he's announcer. The second one's playing days of the Yankees. Next, we got a Pat Kelly. So one of the old, um, it's like one of their team, team photograph prints. Pat Kelly from the Orioles. I wouldn't normally have paid to send these in, but for 15 bucks a piece, there'll be collectors out there that, that want these things. They're not, some of these aren't too valuable. Some of these ones here though, are actually should be pretty good. A card. So we got a Tom Seaver on card auto. Authentic. That's a pretty cool card. The Seaver up there. That's a good one. We got another Seaver. Auto here is not too good, but uh, was authentic. This is, uh, was that 1970? 1971 tops. Card. These are probably worth a little more since they're, they're cards and they're authentic. Got a Warren Spawn, 58 All-Star. Gave an authentic. So there's no, no really reason to get the cards graded. I mean, this card is, you're probably looking at a PSA 2 or a PSA 3. It's not, not in very good shape, but cool to get the, the autographs authenticated. And then lastly, we had a Del Crandall. And this is 1957 tops. Del Crandall on card auto. So, those are pretty cool. A couple of Hall of Famers there. And uh, at, least, at least those got authenticated. Would have been more upset if uh, it was one of those that didn't come back as authentic. Yeah, the, the, the Cloninger, I think, was one of the last ones I picked to send in. I <laughs> just trying to make an even number, 24. I had a few others I didn't send. Let's see what we got here. This is Tommy Davis from the Orioles. Again, one of their team prints. We're going to hopefully find some Oriole fans that want these. Another Tommy Davis. That's a photograph there. Next, we've got a Lefty Bob Logan. This is pretty cool. This is a old, you know, from the Sertoma, Sertoma Stars International League. Pitcher. This is, I don't know how old this is. Um, I don't know when Bob Logan played. It was a long time ago, though. 
This is Alex Kellner, signed photo. Oh, here's a, I got a couple, couple of the red band cards here that were signed. I picked these up in a lot and they, they, um, had a bunch of just, I think it came in the same, the same lot as the spawn and the Crandall, but a bunch of these are the red band cards on card autos. So Whitey Lockman, that's a cool card. I think there's actually some pretty good ones of these red band cards that are in here. All right, you got Cliff Chambers. We got Dusty Rhodes. See, the cards are beat up, but the again, the autographs are authentic, which is great. It's cool to draw on these old Red Man cards, too. I think I've, I've got quite a few of these. Now, Wes Westrom. The Giants. It'd be good if anyone's trying to complete a set of <laughs> signed Red Man cards. i got a bunch of them. Oral Torgerson from the Braves. Hank Sauer, it's a pretty good one there. On the Redman, I think these years, these are the Redmans. Um, I think these are 53 Redman, that's a 53. So, auto on a 1953 card. Pretty cool. Dom DiMaggio. Wish it was Joe. But we'll take Dom. It's a cool card. And we got Johnny Antonelli. It's a clean auto there. It looks it's it looks good. And then lastly here, we've got a Mel Allen. Announcer. Signed his signed his uh cutout. It's like a Somebody from a newspaper or magazine has got card this taped to cardboard. But he signed it. I think he might be I don't want to misstate. I think he might be a Hall of Famer though as a announcer. I have to look that up. But yeah, so no grades, but 23 out of 24 authenticated. I bought these all raw, obviously. Took a chance. And um I'll take that, especially, again, all the Red Man cards are authentic. Got two Tom Seaver autos. One's better than the other. This one looks looks a lot better than this one. But both authentic. I mean, this is a... These will, these will be easy to move. Any Tom Seaver fans looking for an auto for card. Warren Spawn, another one, you know, easy Hall of Famer to move with a certified on-card auto. And then the Del Crown card. So if you liked the video, give it a like. Leave me any comments, especially if you're interested in any of these cards. These will all be for sale. I'm not really tied to any of these. Just want to get them authenticated. So give me a shout either either through YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, eBay, um, Med for Collectibles on all those platforms. Give us a subscribe or follow on either on any of the platforms as well. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.